Turkish Turkja, also referred to as Istanbul Turkish, is the most widely spoken of the Turkic languages, with around 10 to 15 million native speakers in Southeast Europe, mostly in East and Western Thrace, and 60 to 65 million native speakers in Western Asia, mostly in Anatolia. Outside Turkey, significant smaller groups of speakers exist in Germany, Bulgaria, Macedonia, Northern Cyprus, Greece, the Caucasus, and other parts of Europe and Central Asia. Cyprus has requested that the European Union add Turkish as an official EU language, even though Turkey is not a member state. To the west, the influence of Ottoman Turkish the variety of the Turkish language that was used as the administrative and literary language of the Ottoman Empire spread as the Ottoman Empire expanded. In 1928, as one of Ataturk's reforms in the early years of the Republic of Turkey, the Ottoman Turkish alphabet was replaced with a Latin alphabet. The distinctive characteristics of the Turkish language are vowel harmony and extensive agglutination. The basic word order of Turkish is subject-object-verb. Turkish has no noun classes or grammatical gender. The language has a strong TV distinction and usage of honorifics. Turkish uses second-person pronouns that distinguish varying levels of politeness, social distance, age, courtesy or familiarity toward the addressee. The plural second-person pronoun and verb forms are used referring to a single person out of respect. Classification about 40% of all speakers of Turkic languages are native Turkish speakers. The characteristic features of Turkish, such as vowel harmony, agglutination, and lack of grammatical gender, are universal within the Turkic family. The Turkic family comprises some 30 living languages spoken across Eastern Europe, Central Asia, and Siberia. Turkish is a member of the Oghuz group of languages, a subgroup of the Turkic language family. There is a high degree of mutual intelligibility between Turkish and the other Oghuz Turkic languages, including Azerbaijani, Turkmen, Kashke, Gagaz, and Balkan Gagaz Turkish. The Turkic languages were grouped into the now discredited Altaic language group. History the earliest known Old Turkic inscriptions are the three monumental Orkhon inscriptions found in modern Mongolia. Erected in honor of the Prince Kul Tigan and his brother Emperor Bilge Kagan, these date back to the Second Turk Khaganate. After the discovery and excavation of these monuments and associated stone slabs by Russian archaeologists in the wider area surrounding the Orkhon Valley between 1889 and 1893, it became established that the language on the inscriptions was the Old Turkic language written using the Old Turkic alphabet, which has also been referred to as Turkic runes or runiform. Due to a superficial similarity to the Germanic runic alphabets, with the Turkic expansion during early Middle Ages c. 6th-11th centuries, people speaking Turkic languages spread across Central Asia, covering a vast geographical region stretching from Siberia and to Europe and the Mediterranean. The Seljuks of the Oghuz Turks, in particular, brought their language, Oghuz, the direct ancestor of today's Turkish language, into Anatolia during the 11th century. Also during the 11th century, an early linguist of the Turkic languages, Mahmud al Kashgari from the Kara Khanid Khanate, published the first comprehensive Turkic language dictionary and map of the geographical distribution of Turkic speakers in the Compendium of the Turkic Dialects. Ottoman Turkish, Devanu Lugati. T. Turk. Ottoman Turkish Topic. Following the adoption of Islam c. 950 by the Kara Khanid Khanate and the Seljuk Turks, who are both regarded as the ethnic and cultural ancestors of the Ottomans, the administrative language of these states acquired a large collection of loanwords from Arabic and Persian. Turkish literature during the Ottoman period, particularly divan poetry, was heavily influenced by Persian, including the adoption of poetic meters and a great quantity of imported words. The literary and official language during the Ottoman Empire period c. 1299 is termed Ottoman Turkish, which was a mixture of Turkish, Persian, and Arabic that differed considerably and was largely unintelligible to the period's everyday Turkish. The everyday Turkish, known as Kaaba Turkşa or Rough Turkish, 
spoken by the less educated lower and also rural members of society, contained a higher percentage of native vocabulary and served as basis for the modern Turkish language. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Language reform and modern Turkish. Topic: after the foundation of the modern state of Turkey and the script reform, the Turkish Language Association TDK was established in 1932 under the patronage of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, with the aim of conducting research on Turkish. One of the tasks of the newly established association was to initiate a language reform to replace loanwords of Arabic and Persian origin with Turkish equivalents. By banning the usage of imported words in the press, the association succeeded in removing several hundred foreign words from the language. While most of the words introduced to the language by the TDK were newly derived from Turkic roots, it also opted for reviving old Turkish words which had not been used for centuries. Owing to this sudden change in the language, older and younger people in Turkey started to differ in their vocabularies. While the generations born before the 1940s tend to use the older terms of Arabic or Persian origin, the younger generations favor new expressions. It is considered particularly ironic that Atatürk himself, in his lengthy speech to the new parliament in 1927, used a style of Ottoman which sounded so alien to later listeners that it had to be translated three times into modern Turkish, first in 1963, again in 1986, and most recently in 1995. The past few decades have seen the continuing work of the TDK to coin new Turkish words to express new concepts and technologies as they enter the language, mostly from English. Many of these new words, particularly information technology terms, have received widespread acceptance. However, the TDK is occasionally criticized for coining words which sound contrived and artificial. Some earlier changes, such as Bolam to replace Furka, political party, also failed to meet with popular approval. Furka has been replaced by the French loanword party. Some words restored from Old Turkic have taken on specialized meanings. For example, bedik, originally meaning book, is now used to mean script. In computer science, many of the words derived by TDK coexist with their older counterparts. This usually happens when a loanword changes its original meaning. For instance, dirt, derived from the Persian dard, dr pain, means problem or trouble in Turkish, whereas the native Turkish word agri is used for physical pain. Sometimes the loanword has a slightly different meaning from the native Turkish word, creating a situation similar to the coexistence of Germanic and Romance words in English. Some examples of modern Turkish words and the old loanwords are Topic. Geographic distribution Topic. Turkish is natively spoken by the Turkish people in Turkey and by the Turkish diaspora in some 30 other countries. Turkish language is mutually intelligible with Azerbaijani and other Turkic languages. In particular, Turkish-speaking minorities exist in countries that formerly in whole or part belonged to the Ottoman Empire, such as Iraq, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Greece primarily in western Thrace, the Republic of Macedonia, Romania, and Serbia. More than two million Turkish speakers live in Germany, and there are significant Turkish-speaking communities in the United States, France, the Netherlands, Austria, Belgium, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. Due to the cultural assimilation of Turkish immigrants in host countries, not all ethnic Turkish immigrants speak the language with native fluency. In 2005, 93% of the population of Turkey were native speakers of Turkish, about 67 million at the time, with Kurdish languages making up most of the remainder. However, most linguistic minorities in Turkey are bilingual, speaking Turkish with native like fluency. Topic. Official status Topic. Turkish is the official language of Turkey and is one of the official languages of Cyprus. Turkish has official status in 38 municipalities in Kosovo, including Mamusha, and two in the Republic of Macedonia. In Turkey, the regulatory body for Turkish is the Turkish Language Association, Turk Dil Kurumu or TDK, which was founded in 1932 under the name Turk Dili Tetkik Semiethi, Society for Research on the Turkish Language. The Turkish Language Association was influenced by the ideology of linguistic purism, indeed one of its primary tasks was the replacement of loanwords and foreign grammatical constructions with equivalents of Turkish origin. 
These changes, together with the adoption of the new Turkish alphabet in 1928, shaped the modern Turkish language spoken today. TDK became an independent body in 1951, with the lifting of the requirement that it should be presided over by the Minister of Education. This status continued until August 1983, when it was again made into a governmental body in the Constitution of 1982, following the military coup d'état of 1980. Topic. Dialects Topic. Modern Standard Turkish is based on the dialect of Istanbul. This Istanbul Turkish Istanbul Turksesi constitutes the model of written and spoken Turkish, as recommended by Zia Gokalp, Omer Seyfettin, and others. Dialectal variation persists, in spite of the leveling influence of the standard used in mass media and the Turkish education system since the 1930s. Academically, researchers from Turkey often refer to Turkish dialects as agiz or siv, leading to an ambiguity with the linguistic concept of accent, which is also covered with these words. Projects investigating Turkish dialects are being carried out by several universities, as well as a dedicated work group of the Turkish Language Association. Work is currently in progress for the compilation and publication of their research as a comprehensive dialect atlas of the Turkish language. Rumelis is spoken by immigrants from Rumelia, and includes the distinct dialects of Ludogory, Dinlar, and Atakal, which are influenced by the theoretized Balkan Sprachbund. Kibris Turksesi is the name for Cypriot Turkish and is spoken by the Turkish Cypriots. Edirne is the dialect of Edirne. Ega is spoken in the Aegean region, with its usage extending to Antalya. The nomadic Yoruks of the Mediterranean region of Turkey also have their own dialect of Turkish. This group is not to be confused with the Yuruk nomads of Macedonia, Greece, and European Turkey who speak Balkan Gagaz Turkish. Gunidogu is spoken in the southeast, to the east of Mersin. Dogu, a dialect in the eastern Anatolia region, has a dialect continuum. The Meskhetian Turks who live in Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan and Russia as well as in several Central Asian countries, also speak an Eastern Anatolian dialect of Turkish, originating in the areas of Kars, Ardayan, and Artvin and sharing similarities with Azerbaijani, the language of Azerbaijan, the Central Anatolia region speaks Orta Anadolu. Karadanis, spoken in the eastern Black Sea region and represented primarily by the Trabzon dialect, exhibit substratum influence from Greek in phonology and syntax. It is also known as Laz dialect, not to be confused with the Laz language. Kastamanu is spoken in Kastamanu and its surrounding areas. Karamanli Turkish is spoken in Greece, where it is called K Aramanletica. It is the literary standard for the Karamanlids. Phonology Topic Topic Consonants Topic At least one source claims Turkish consonants are laryngeally specified three-way fortis linus aspirated neutral voiced like Armenian the phoneme that is usually referred to as u music g soft g Written in Turkish orthography, represents a vowel sequence or a rather weak bilabial approximant between rounded vowels, a weak palatal approximant between unrounded front vowels, and a vowel sequence elsewhere. It never occurs at the beginning of a word or a syllable, but always follows a vowel. When word final or preceding another consonant, it lengthens the preceding vowel. In native Turkic words, the sounds c and l are in complementary distribution with k. The former set occurs adjacent to front vowels and the latter adjacent to back vowels. The distribution of these phonemes is often unpredictable, however, in foreign borrowings and proper nouns. In such words, C and L often occur with back vowels. Some examples are given below. Topic. Consonant devoicing Topic. Turkish orthography reflects final obstruent devoicing, a form of consonant mutation whereby a voiced obstruent, such as bdd, is devoiced to pt, k at the end of a word or before a consonant, but retains its voicing before a vowel. In loan words, the voiced equivalent of k is per gram, in native words, it is g. This is analogous to languages such as German and Russian, but in the case of Turkish, the spelling is usually made to match the sound. However, in a few cases, such as ad, at, name, dative ada, the underlying form is retained in the spelling cf, at, at, horse, 
date of Ada. Other exceptions are odd fire versus odd herb sack sheet metal sack hair. Most loanwords, such as katap above, are spelled as pronounced, but a few such as hack, hajj, sad, happy, and yod, strange r, also show their underlying forms. Native nouns of two or more syllables that end in k in dictionary form are nearly all g in underlying form. However, most verbs and monosyllabic nouns are underlyingly k. Topic vowels topic The vowels of the Turkish language are, in their alphabetical order, a, e, i, o, o diaresis, u, u diaresis. The Turkish vowel system can be considered as being three-dimensional, where vowels are characterized by how and where they are articulated focusing on three key features, front and back, rounded and unrounded and vowel height. Vowels are classified plus or minus back, plus or minus round, and plus or minus high. The only diphthongs in the language are found in loanwords and may be categorized as falling diphthongs, usually analyzed as a sequence of j and a vowel. Topic vowel harmony topic Turkish is an agglutinative language where a series of suffixes are added to the stem word. Vowel harmony is a phonological process which ensures a smooth flow, requiring the least amount of oral movement as possible. Vowel harmony can be viewed as a process of assimilation, whereby following vowels take on the characteristics of the preceding vowel. It may be useful to think of Turkish vowels as two symmetrical sets, the a undotted a, i, o, u, which are all back vowels, articulated at the back of the mouth, and the e dotted e, i, o, u, vowels which are articulated at the front of the mouth. The place and manner of articulation of the vowels will determine which pattern of vowel harmony a word will adopt. The pattern of vowels is shown in the table above. Grammatical affixes have a chameleon like quality and obey one of the following patterns of vowel harmony twofold e, a, the locative case suffix, for example, is de after front vowels and da after back vowels. The notation de squared is a convenient shorthand for this pattern. Fourfold i, i, u, u, the genitive case suffix, for example, is in or in after unrounded vowels, front or back respectively, and un or un after the corresponding rounded vowels. In this case, the shorthand notation in four is used. Practically, the twofold pattern, also referred to as the E-type vowel harmony, means that in the environment where the vowel in the word stem is formed in the front of the mouth, the suffix will take the E form, while if it is formed in the back, it will take the A form. The fourfold pattern, also called the I-type, accounts for rounding as well as for front, back. The following examples, based on the copula dir4, it is, illustrate the principles of I-type vowel harmony in practice. Turkiator, it is turkey, capitor, it is the door, but gundor, it is the day, paltoder, it is the coat. There are several exceptions to the vowel harmony rules, which can be categorized as follows. A few native root words such as an, mother, elma, apple, and cards, brother. In these cases the suffixes harmonize with the final vowel. Compounds such as the boo gun today and ba kent capital. In these cases vowels are not required to harmonize between the constituent words. Loanwords often don't harmonize, however, in some cases the suffixes will harmonize with the front vowel even in words that may not have a front vowel in the final syllable. Usually this occurs when the words end in a palatal l, for example houses listless, machudor it is unknown. However, affixes borrowed from foreign languages do not harmonize, such as izm ataism, atheism, n derived from French meant as in taxman completely, anti antidemocratic, antidemocratic. A few native suffixes are also invariable or at least partially so, such as the second vowel in the bound auxiliary abel, or in the marker ken as well as in the imperfect suffix your. There are also a few derivational suffixes that do not harmonize such as gen in yukgen triangle, or altogen hexagon. Some rural dialects lack some or all of these exceptions mentioned above. The road sign in the photograph above illustrates several of these features. A native compound which does not obey vowel harmony, orta plus k oi, middle village, a place name, a loanword also violating vowel harmony, viatic, viaduct, the possessive suffix i4 harmonizing with the final vowel and softening the k by consonant alternation. Viatiga the rules of vowel harmony may vary by regional dialect. The dialect of Turkish spoken in the Trabzon region of northeastern Turkey follows the reduced vowel harmony of Old Anatolian Turkish, with the additional complication of two missing vowels U and I, thus there is no palatal harmony. It's likely that Ellen meant your hand in Old Anatolian. 
While the second person singular possessive would vary between back and front vowel, un or un, as in Ellen for your hand and katabun for your book, the lack of u vowel in the Trabzon dialect means un would be used in both of these cases, Ellen and katabun. Topic word accent Topic Word accent is usually on the last syllable in most words. There are however, several exceptions. Exceptions include certain loanwords, particularly from Italian and Greek, as well as interjections, certain question words, adverbs although not adjectives functioning as adverbs, and many proper names. Loanwords are usually accented on the penultimate syllable o conta, lo conta, restaurant or is sele, is sele, key. Proper names are usually accented on the penultimate syllable as in is tanbu Istanbul, but sometimes on the antepenultimate, if the word ends in a credit rhythm ux, as in Aka Ankara, see Turkish phonology hashtag place names. In addition, there are certain suffixes such as la with and the verbal negative particle mi, ma, which place an accent on the syllable which precedes them, e.g. katapla with the book, demi mek not to say, in some circumstances, for example, in the second half of compound words or when verbs are preceded by an indefinite object the accent on a word is suppressed and cannot be heard. Topic syntax topic, topic Sentence groups topic Turkish has two groups of sentences, verbal and nominal sentences. In the case of a verbal sentence, the predicate is a finite verb, while the predicate in nominal sentence will have either no overt verb or a verb in the form of the copula ol or y variants of b. Examples of both are given below. Topic negation topic The two groups of sentences have different ways of forming negation. A nominal sentence can be negated with the addition of the word degel, for example the sentence above would become Nekla Ogretman degel Nekla is not a teacher. However, the verbal sentence requires the addition of a negative suffix me to the verb the suffix comes after the stem but before the tense, Nekla Okula Gitmidi Nekla did not go to school. Topic yes, no questions topic In the case of a verbal sentence, an interrogative morpheme me is added to the end of the sentence and stands alone, for example Nekla Okula Gitmidi. Did Nekla go to school? In the case of a nominal sentence, then the me comes after the predicate but before the personal ending, so for example Nekla, Sis Ogretman Misnes? Nekla, are you a teacher? Using the formal second person plural. Topic word order Topic Word order in simple Turkish sentences is generally subject-object verb, as in Korean and Latin, but unlike English, for verbal sentences and subject-predicate for nominal sentences. However, as Turkish possesses a case marking system, and most grammatical relations are shown using morphological markers, often the SOV structure has diminished relevance. In fact, it may be considered a pragmatic word order of language, one that does not rely on word order for grammatical purposes. While the basic word order in Turkish is firmly SOV, the word order may vary in particular conditions. Topic immediately proverbal topic Consider the following simple sentence which demonstrates that the focus in Turkish is on the element that immediately precedes the verb. Topic postpredicate topic The postpredicate position signifies what is referred to as background information in Turkish information that is assumed to be known to both the speaker and the listener, or information that is included in the context. Consider the following examples. Topic, topic, topic. There has been some debate among linguists whether Turkish is a subject prominent like English or topic prominent like Japanese and Korean language, with recent scholarship implying that it is indeed both subject and topic prominent. This has direct implications for word order as it is possible for the subject to be included in the verb phrase in Turkish. There can be s, o inversion in sentences where the topic is of greater importance than the subject. Topic grammar topic Turkish is an agglutinative language and frequently uses affixes, and specifically suffixes, or endings. One word can have many affixes and these can also be used to create new words, such as creating a verb from a noun, or a noun from a verbal root see the section on word formation. Most affixes indicate the grammatical function of the word. The only native prefixes are alliterative intensifying syllables used with adjectives or adverbs, for example simsisik boiling hot bright blue. In the manner of you being one of those that we apparently couldn't manage to convert to Czechoslovakian. While this case is contrived, long words frequently occur in normal Turkish, as in this heading of a newspaper obituary column, Bayram Lasamadaklarimas Bayram Festival Resi Prm Po Partik Plur Pos Pl1, those of our number with whom we cannot exchange the season's greetings. 
Another example can be seen in the final word of this heading of the online Turkish spelling guide İmla Kilavuzu, Dil Berlik, Aluzal Berligan Vazgeçilmezlerindendir Unity in language is among the indispensables dispense pas and po plur pas 3 abl copula of national unity tilde linguistic unity is a sine qua non of national unity. Nouns <inaudible> <inaudible> <inaudible> There is no definite article in Turkish, but definiteness of the object is implied when the accusative ending is used see below. Turkish nouns decline by taking case endings. There are six noun cases in Turkish, with all the endings following vowel harmony shown in the table using the shorthand superscript notation. The plural marker ler squared immediately follows the noun before any case or other affixes e.g. koylerin of the villages. The accusative case marker is used only for definite objects. Compare beer a gak gordik. We saw a tree. With a gachi gordik. We saw the tree. The plural marker ler squared is generally not used when a class or category is meant. A gak gordik can equally well mean we saw trees as we walked through the forest. As opposed to agaklari gordik. We saw the trees in question. The declension of agak illustrates two important features of Turkish phonology, consonant assimilation in suffixes agaktan, agakta, and voicing of final consonants before vowels agasin, agaka, agachi. .Additionally, nouns can take suffixes that assign person, for example imiz for r, with the addition of the copula for example im for I am. complete sentences can be formed. The interrogative particle mi for immediately follows the word being questioned, koi mi? Going to the village? Agak me? Is it a tree? Topic: <laughs> Personal pronouns. Topic: The Turkish personal pronouns in the nominative case are ben ones, sen twos, o threes, biz one place, sis two place, or two h, and onler three place. They are declined regularly with some exceptions, benum one's gen, bism one place gen, bana one's dat, sana two's dat, and the oblique forms of o use the root on. All other pronouns reflexive kendi and so on are declined regularly. Topic. Noun phrases tamlama. Topic. Two nouns, or groups of nouns, may be joined in either of two ways. Definite possessive compound belirtily tamlama, e.g. Turkienin sesi, the voice of Turkey radio station, the voice belonging to Turkey. Here the relationship is shown by the genitive ending in for added to the first noun. The second noun has the third person suffix of possession s i for. Indefinite qualifying compound belirtises tamlama, e.g. Turkey kumhuriyeti, Turkey Republic equals the Republic of Turkey. Not the republic belonging to Turkey, but the republic that is Turkey. Here the first noun has no ending, but the second noun has the ending s i for. The same as indefinite compounds. The following table illustrates these principles. In some cases, the constituents of the compounds are themselves compounds. For clarity, these subsidiary compounds are marked with square brackets. The suffixes involved in the linking are underlined. Note that if the second noun group already had a possessive suffix because it is a compound by itself, no further suffix is added. As the last example shows, the qualifying expression may be a substantival sentence rather than a noun or noun group. There is a third way of linking the nouns where both nouns take no suffixes takazas tamlama. However, in this case the first noun acts as an adjective, e.g. Demur copy iron gate, elma yanik, apple cheek, i.e. red cheek, kamur gauze. Coal eye, i.e. black eye. Topic: Adjectives. Topic: Turkish adjectives are not declined. However, most adjectives can also be used as nouns, in which case they are declined. E.g. Guzel, beautiful. Gazeller, the beautiful ones, people. Used attributively, adjectives precede the nouns they modify. The adjectives var existent and yok non-existent are used in many cases where english would use there is or have eg suit yok there is no milk lit the milk is non-existent the construction 
Noun 1 GEN Noun 2 POSSVAR, YOK, can be translated, Noun 1 has, doesn't have Noun 2. Imperator and Elbisesi YOK, the emperor has no clothes. The emperor of clothes is non existent. Ketaman Ayakabilari Yoktu, my cat had no shoes. Lit. Cat my of shoe plur, it's non existent past tense. Topic Verbs Topic Turkish verbs indicate person. They can be made negative, potential, can, or impotential, cannot. Furthermore, Turkish verbs show tense present, past, future, and aorist, mood, conditional, imperative, inferential, necessitative, and optative, and aspect. Negation is expressed by the infix me squared immediately following the stem. Almost all Turkish verbs are conjugated in the same way, most notable exception being the irregular and defective verb I, the Turkish copula corresponding to English to be, which can be used in compound forms the shortened form is called an enclitic, gelimemisti. Gelimemis idi Gelimemis plus i plus d Topic. Verb tenses Topic. Note. For the sake of simplicity the term tense is used here throughout, although for some forms aspect or mood might be more appropriate. There are nine simple and twenty compound tenses in Turkish. Nine simple tenses are simple past d. Li gekmis, inferential past mis. Li gekmis, present continuous, simple present aorist, future, optative, subjunctive, necessitative, must, and imperative. There are three groups of compound forms. Story is the witnessed past of the above forms except command, rumor is the unwitnessed past of the above forms except simple past and command, conditional is the conditional form of the first five basic tenses. In the example below the second person singular of the verb gitmek, go. Stem gid, git, is shown. There are also so-called combined verbs, which are created by suffixing certain verb stems like bil or vir to the original stem of a verb. Bil is the suffix for the sufficiency mood. It is the equivalent of the English auxiliary verbs able to, can, or may. Vir is the suffix for the swiftness mood, cal for the perpetuity mood and yaz for the approach, almost, mood. Thus, while gitten means, you went. Gidabildin means, you could go, and Gidiverdin means, you went swiftly. The tenses of the combined verbs are formed the same way as for simple verbs. Topic. Attributive verbs participles. Topic. Turkish verbs have attributive forms, including present, similar to the English present participle with the ending n2, future ECEK2, indirect, inferential past MIS4, and aorist ER2 or IR4. These forms can function as either adjectives or nouns, oinamian kokukler, children who do not play, oinamianlar, those who do not play, okor yazar, reader-writer equals literate, okor yazarlar, literates. The most important function of some of these attributive verbs is to form modifying phrases equivalent to the relative clauses found in most European languages. The subject of the verb in an N2 form is possibly implicitly in the third person, he, she, it, they. This form, when used in a modifying phrase, does not change according to number. The other attributive forms used in these constructions are the future ECEK2 and an older form DIC4, which covers both present and past meanings. These two forms take personal endings, which have the same form as the possessive suffixes but indicate the person and possibly number of the subject of the attributive verb. For example, yetigem means what I eat, yetigen means what you eat, and so on. The use of these personal or relative participles is illustrated in the following table, in which the examples are presented according to the grammatical case which would be seen in the equivalent English relative clause. Topic. Vocabulary Topic. 
latest 2010 edition of Büyük Türkçe Sözlük, Great Turkish Dictionary, the official dictionary of the Turkish language published by Turkish Language Association, contains 616,767 words, expressions, terms and nouns. The 2005 edition of Gunsel Türkçe Sözlük, the official dictionary of the Turkish language published by Turkish Language Association, contains 104,481 words, of which about 86% are Turkish and 14% are of foreign origin. Among the most significant foreign contributors to Turkish vocabulary are Arabic, French, Persian, Italian, English, and Greek. Topic. Word formation Topic. Turkish extensively uses agglutination to form new words from nouns and verbal stems. The majority of Turkish words originate from the application of derivative suffixes to a relatively small set of core vocabulary. Turkish obeys certain principles when it comes to suffixation. Most suffixes in Turkish will have more than one form, depending on the vowels and consonants in the root vowel harmony rules will apply. Consonant initial suffixes will follow the voiced, voiceless character of the consonant in the final unit of the root, and in the case of vowel initial suffixes an additional consonant may be inserted if the root ends in a vowel, or the suffix may lose its initial vowel. There is also a prescribed order of affixation of suffixes as a rule of thumb. Derivative suffixes precede inflectional suffixes which are followed by clitics, as can be seen in the example set of words derived from a substantive root below. Another example, starting from a verbal root. New words are also frequently formed by compounding two existing words into a new one, as in German. Compounds can be of two types bare and s i. The bare compounds, both nouns and adjectives are effectively two words juxtaposed without the addition of suffixes for example the word for girlfriend kazarkadas kiz plus arkada s or black pepper karabiber kara plus biber. A few examples of compound words are given below. However, the majority of compound words in Turkish are s i compounds, which means that the second word will be marked by the third person possessive suffix. A few such examples are given in the table below note vowel harmony. Topic. Writing system Topic. Turkish is written using a Latin alphabet introduced in 1928 by Atatürk to replace the Ottoman Turkish alphabet, a version of Perso-Arabic alphabet. The Ottoman alphabet marked only three different vowels. Long A, U and I and included several redundant consonants, such as variants of Z which were distinguished in Arabic but not in Turkish. The omission of short vowels in the Arabic script was claimed to make it particularly unsuitable for Turkish, which has eight vowels. The reform of the script was an important step in the cultural reforms of the period. The task of preparing the new alphabet and selecting the necessary modifications for sounds specific to Turkish was entrusted to a language commission composed of prominent linguists, academics, and writers. The introduction of the new Turkish alphabet was supported by public education centers open throughout the country, cooperation with publishing companies, and encouragement by Atatürk himself, who toured the country teaching the new letters to the public. As a result, there was a dramatic increase in literacy from its original third world levels. The Latin alphabet was applied to the Turkish language for educational purposes even before the 20th century reform. Instances include a 1635 Latin Albanian dictionary by Frank Bardi, who also incorporated several sayings in the Turkish language, as an appendix to his work e.g. Alma Agatstan Iraq Dushamas. An apple does not fall far from its tree. Turkish now has an alphabet suited to the sounds of the language, the spelling is largely phonemic, with one letter corresponding to each phoneme. Most of the letters are used approximately as in English, the main exceptions being C, which denotes D, J being used for the found in Persian and European loans, and the undotted, representing as in German, O diaresis and U diaresis represent O and Y. The letter, in principle, denotes but has the property of lengthening the preceding vowel and assimilating any subsequent vowel. The letters and C cedilla represent and respectively. A circumflex is written over back vowels following k, g, or l when these consonants represent c and l, almost exclusively in Arabic and Persian loans. An apostrophe is used to separate proper nouns from inflectional suffixes, e.g. Istanbul in Istanbul, 
but not from derivational suffixes since 2009 spelling revision by TDK, e.g. Istanbulu, from, of Istanbul. The Turkish alphabet consists of 29 letters Q, X, W omitted and C, S, G, I, O, U added. The complete list is A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G, G, H, I, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, O, P, R, S, S, T, U, U, V, Y, and Z. Note that capital of I is I and lowercase I is I. The specifically Turkish letters and spellings described above are illustrated in this table. Topic. Sample. Topic. Dostler Beni Hatterlesen by Asik Vaisal Satiroglu (1894–1973), a minstrel and highly regarded poet in the Turkish folk literature tradition. Topic: <laughs> Turkish whistling language. Topic. In the Turkish province of Giresun, the locals in the village of Kuskoy have communicated using a whistled version of Turkish for over 400 years. The region consists of a series of deep valleys and the unusual mode of communication allows for conversation over distances of up to 5 km. Turkish authorities estimate that there are still around 10,000 people using the whistled language. However, in 2011 UNESCO found whistling Turkish to be a dying language and included it in its intangible cultural heritage list. Since then the local education directorate has introduced it as a course in schools in the region, hoping to revive its use. A study was conducted by a German scientist of Turkish origin owner Gunterkin at Ruhr University, observing 31 speakers of Kus Dili bird's tongue from Kuskoy, and he found that the whistled language mirrored the lexical and syntactical structure of Turkish language. See also List of English words of Turkic origin Sun language theory Turkish name Turkish sign language References Topic. Akalin, Sukru Halak January 2003. Türk Dil Kurumunun 2002 Yila Kalizmalari Turkish Language Association Progress Report for 2002. PDF. Türk underscore Dili in Turkish. 85 613. ISSN 1301 465X. Archived from the original PDF on June 27, 2007. Retrieved the 18th of March 2007. Bazin, Louis. 1975. Turks et Sogdians, Les Ensonments de l'inscription de Bugat, Mongoli, Melanges linguistiques offerts à Emile Benvenisti. Collection linguistique, publié par la Société de linguistique de Paris, in French, LXX, 37 to 45. Brendamon, B. 1996. Conference on Turkish in Contact, Netherlands Institute for Advanced Study in the Humanities and Social Sciences, Wassenaar, 5–6 February 1996. Encyclopædia Britannica, Expo 70 edition Vol. 12. William Benton, 1970. Kulmas, Florian Writing Systems of the World. Blackwell Publishers Ltd., Oxford. ISBN 0 631 18028 1. Dilakar, A. G. O. P. Ataturk ve Yazım. Turk Dili. In Turkish. 35 307. ISSN 1301 465X. Retrieved 19 March 2007. Ergin, Maharim. Orhun Abitilari. In Turkish. Bogazici Yayanlari. ISBN 0-19-517726-6. Findlay, Carter 5, October 2004. The Turks in World History. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-517726-6. Glennie, Misha 2001. The Balkans, Nationalism, War, and the Great Powers, 1804-1999. New York, Penguin. Johansson, Lars. 2001. Discoveries on the Turkic linguistic map. PDF. 
Swedish Research Institute in Istanbul. Archived from the original PDF on February 5, 2007. Retrieved the 18th of March 2007. Ishjadams, N. October 1996. Nomads in Eastern Central Asia. History of Civilizations of Central Asia, 2. UNESCO Publishing. ISBN 92-3-102846-4. Lewis, Jeffrey Teach Yourself Turkish. English Universities Press. ISBN 978-0-340-49231-4, 2nd edition 1989. Lewis, Jeffrey Turkish Grammar. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-870036-9. Lewis, Jeffrey The Turkish Language Reform, A Catastrophic Success. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-925669-1. Ozsoy, A. Sumru, Tylan, Esser E., eds. 2000. Turkshanan Agizleri Kalistei Bilderleri Workshop on the Dialects of Turkish in Turkish. Bogazici Universitesi Yeyanevi. ISBN 975-518-140-7. Sosik, Svat March 2000. A History of Inner Asia. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-0-521-65169-1. Vo, Bert Hemshinli, The Forgotten Black Sea Armenians. PDF. Harvard University. Archived from the original PDF on March 15, 2007. Retrieved 24 April 2007. Zimmer, Karl, Organ, Orhan Turkish. PDF. Handbook of the International Phonetic Association, A Guide to the Use of the International Phonetic Alphabet. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. pp. 154-158. ISBN 0-521-65236-7. Online sources Center for Studies on Turkey, University of Essen 2003. The European Turks, Gross Domestic Product, Working Population, Entrepreneurs and Household Data. PDF. Turkish Industrialists. And Businessmen. S. Association. Archived from the original PDF on December 4, 2005. Retrieved 6 January 2007. CIA Factbook, Iraq. 2013. Archived from the original on 3 March 2016. Gunsel Turkish Asazlik in Turkish. Turkish Language Association, 2005. Archived from the original on the 12th of March 2007. Retrieved the 21st of March 2007. Turkish Etymological Dictionary Online in Turkish. Seven Nisanyan, 2006. Retrieved the 11th of September 2007. Language Materials Project, Turkish. UCLA International Institute, Center for World Languages. February 2007. Retrieved the 26th of April 2007. TNS Opinion and Social, February 2006. Special Eurobarometer 243, Wave 64.3, Europeans and Their Languages, PDF. European Commission Directorate of General Press and Communication. Retrieved 28 March 2007. Turkish Language Association, Sesler ve Ses Uyumlari, Sounds and Vovel Karmani, in Turkish. Turkish Language Association. Retrieved 13 January 2013. Gonel, Yuxel, 2012. Turkish Grammar Updated Academic Edition. Retrieved 16 January 2013. Turkish Language Association. Türk Dil Kurumu, Taris, History of the Turkish Language Association, in Turkish. Archived from the original on 16 March 2007. Retrieved 18 March 2007. Türkçe Sözlük 2005 Teki Sözlerin Kökenlerin 8 Sayısal Dokum Numerical List on the Origin of Words in Türkçe Sözlük 2005 in Turkish Turkish Language Association 2005 Archived from the original on March 1, 2007 Retrieved the 21st of March 2007 Spartak Kadiu Türk Seed Zaman ve Kip Kavrami ve I ek Ailman Fonksiyonu Uzerin PDF in Turkish Turkish Studies, International Periodical for the Languages, Literature and History of Turkish or Turkic Vol. 7 thirds. Retrieved 15 January 
Topic. Further reading. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Turkish dictionaries at Kurli. Turkish language at Kurli. Swadesh list of Turkish basic vocabulary words from Wiktionary's Swadesh list appendix. Turkish language resources, University of Michigan. LT Turkish grammar introduction and automatic verb declinations, non-commercial.